Hello out there, I'm the Oldest Nerd. Today we're talking about Babylon 5, and this is part two of Endless War. And one of the great things about the way J. Michael Stradinsky writes is that he, of course, since he has the entire story mapped out before he's ever started filming the series, that he's able to do things in the first season that he can come back to uh, in this fourth season in order to be able to uh, bring it all together because uh, it's all rather interconnected. Now, there was a time travel aspect to that first season program because of Babylon 4, which had been unlocked in time. They didn't know what caused that. And in this episode, uh, they find out what caused it. They did. And the uh, reasoning for doing so was in order to create, and we won't give away the twist at the end, but uh, it, it makes the history that we've had so far happen. And so uh, a lot of things with time anomalies work out. And also the idea that, uh, you know, there, there are three things in time travel. One is that when you time travel, you create a, um, a different branch of reality. There are parallel universes that are created every time you travel through time. Uh, the second one is where you go through time and you change history. And the third is where you go through time and history is not changed. You just um, become part of it. And this third type is how this story goes. So we're able to jump ahead into the future uh, due to an accident with a time stabilizer that Sheridan was supposed to be wearing. Uh, he ends up seeing Londo 17 years later and the fight between Londo and Jakar that comes to Londo in a vision is something that actually happens and the way that it happens is interesting. Uh, we also see something about the prophecy that uh, of course, that Londo would become emperor and that Veer would also become emperor, presumably follow him. And that's paid off here. Now, uh, we also have some things we're not quite certain about as to how the Shadow War ends. And Londo lets us in on a little bit of that in that uh, it didn't work out for everybody. Now, whether that history can change or not is debatable, but if it goes by everything else in this story, it will not change. Now, uh, what goes beyond that, we won't talk about. But uh, the fact of the tight writing on this in order to make a time travel story uh, relatable and just a little more complicated than most time travel stories are. So you have to kind of pay attention to figure out what's going on here and what happened before and how it all affects each other. And uh, the melding of scenes from the first season and from this one, where the same characters occupied the same space, uh, we get to see it from a slightly different angle. And that's quite interesting. It's something that makes you want to go back and look at that first season episode uh, where Sinclair and Garibaldi go uh, aboard Babylon 4. Now, my guess on this is that the original story, which in expected Sinclair to stay along, uh, would have been Sinclair and Garibaldi there rather than Sinclair and Sheridan, which was the reason that it, it sounded like kind of tacked on that Garibaldi couldn't go and they made up some kind of reason that he couldn't. But uh, other than that, I thought it was incredibly well written. Uh, the acting is good. We have our characters that are reacting to different times and some we are seeing actually in the future and how it's changed them and how uh, they react now and, and in ways of how it has not changed them. And uh, I think that's rather interesting, especially when you're thinking about Delenn, when you're thinking about Londo, when you're thinking about Jakar, when you're thinking about uh, uh, even Veer. Uh, these are all people who have, we have seen in a future tense and the way that they mature their characters is, is quite interesting. So I recommend this, it's a good show, it's a good episode of Babylon 5. So I'd like to know what you think. Please let me know in the comments below. And tomorrow we, of course, have a Deep Space Nine episode. And until then, don't go far.